Hi, welcome to Skilled Pastor, where we offer practical advice for better ministry. My name is Rob Nieves, and today I want to talk to you about when people leave your church. Now, I know what you're thinking, especially if you're new at this. You're probably saying, oh, no one will ever leave my church. This is the best church ever. I'm the best pastor ever. And just to quote our current president, I would just have to say, wrong, wrong. People will leave your church. It doesn't matter how great a pastor you are. It doesn't matter how great a church you have. And I'm sure your church is great. And I'm sure you're a great pastor. But I want you to know people will leave your church. So what do you do when people leave your church? Well, the first thing I would say to you is that you want to make sure that you offer peace. That you offer peace. When people leave your church, offer them peace. Just because they have a difference of opinion, just because there's, this, there's a disagreement doesn't mean that there needs to be enmity between the two of you. So offer them peace. In fact, let them know that, listen, I'm your brother, I'm your sister in Christ. We do disagree about this and that's okay. We, we're gonna have to part ways and, and I'm, I'm totally cool with that, but you're still my brother and you're still my sister. In fact, even offer them, listen, if you need any kind of recommendation for another place of worship where you're seeking to attend, I just want you to know that I'm there for you so you can count on a reference from me. So just because they're leaving, just because there's a disagreement does not mean that there needs to be enmity between the two of you. The other thing is this, you need to make sure that you offer them an open door, that you let them know, listen, right now we disagree and right now it may seem like we can't be together, we can't work together, but I want you to know that if at any point in the future you decide to come back, I want you to know that my doors and our doors are open to you. So again, you're, you're offering them a peace and you're offering them an open door. You make sure that that door always stays open to them. The third thing I would say to you is that you forgive them. Forgive them if it's necessary. Sometimes it may not be necessary, but forgive them if it's necessary. Now, this doesn't mean that there's always reconciliation. In order for there to be proper reconciliation, someone has to ask for forgiveness and someone has to give forgiveness. And maybe they haven't asked for forgiveness and maybe they're never going to ask for forgiveness. But you, in your heart, you need to make sure that you forgive them, that, that you're not going to retaliate against them in any way. You're not gonna try to hurt them or injure them in any way. And then the fourth thing I would say is related to that. You don't gossip about them. You don't talk about them. Uh, you don't talk about them to the members in your church. You don't talk about them even to your spouse. You want to be careful. You know, I know with your spouse, you, you need to have some conversations, but at some point, and hopefully sooner rather than later, at some point, you need to tell your wife, you need to tell your husband, you need to say, listen, uh, I, I think we're done. I think we've exhausted this topic, and I don't think it's healthy for us to continue dwelling on this and talking about these people. Maybe they hurt you. I get it. Maybe they did you wrong they did you dirty but you need to be thinking listen no this is not healthy for us spiritually so uh, don't gossip about them stop talking about them uh, the fifth thing I would say is remind your people remind your spouse remind the people that you talk to anytime their name comes up remind these people that they are still your brother and sister in Christ and that maybe you have a difference of opinion but you're still praying for them and you're still praying that God continues to bless them and God continues to be there for them so they are still your brothers and sisters there's no need for there to be enmity between them and us or uh, there's no need for that and the last thing I would say is you keep moving forward you keep moving forward. You need to remember that God has called you. You need to remember that God is the one that has brought you. And in the same way that he brought them, in the same way that he took them away and allowed them to leave, uh, it's the same way that he's gonna bring other people. So you keep moving forward. It's the best thing that you can do. Don't focus on what you've lost. Focus on what God has yet to give you. So make sure that, that you are moving forward, that you keep going, and that you continue to pray for healing if you need healing. 
healing. So again, this is what you do when people leave your church. People will leave your church. Make sure that it's done in a way that is godly, in a way that is healthy. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to let you know that the best way that you can get more resources is by going to our website at www.skilledpastor.com. When you go there, we have some free resources that you can sign up for and you can receive into your inbox. So go and check those resources out. Uh, we have PDFs and we have audio resources for you. Go ahead and check those out absolutely for free so that you can excel in ministry. But I also want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like what you're seeing. We're posting new content every single week and it's just for you to help you as you do ministry. So God bless you so much for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video, that you enjoy everything else that we're putting out because it's just for you so that you can excel in ministry and so that you can move forward faster 